Uh, my name is uh, Timothy Numelengi. I am the founder for Monday Chicken product. Uh, that's one of the products that we currently been developing. We started off in uh, 2000, April during the COVID lockdown. Uh, we started producing chicken. All we did was uh, we grow our own chicken. We have a chicken farm that we grow up our chicken up to five to six weeks old. By then, we should be able to you know, get a live weight of about 1.8 to 2.5 kilos, and those are uh, chickens ready for slaughter. And we got a small slaughtering plant, which we produce. Uh, we can process up to 500 beds uh, in a day. So that's equivalent to like two tons uh, of chicken. Uh, with the limited capacity that we have, we were not able to increase production. So currently, we are servicing only the lay market, Morobe province. Uh, we distribute our products to uh, other SMEs operating like catering facilities and also to schools, boarding houses uh, and restaurants. Uh, with supermarkets, uh, we haven't entered the supermarket area, only Sinawel and Eriku is the one that we've been uh, supplying to. Uh, because of limited capacity, we were not able to meet the demand with uh, other supermarkets. But now that we have upgraded our facility, which started uh, last year, we brought a new cold storage facility plus new genset, uh, 130 kVA, so that should be able to, we have enough power supply uh, to continue our operations. So uh, I think this year we're looking at uh, expanding our markets. Uh, we're looking at like Port Mosby and other centers uh, in the country as well. Uh, thank you. So uh, can you talk about a bit about opening means going into downstream process, mm -hmm. agriculture downstream processing, like what you're doing? Yeah, actually with the downstream processing, you know, it's an area that uh, which not many has gone into, but the others that has ventured into those areas. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of challenges that we face. With chicken that I'm actually getting into, currently we have about 200 million kina of import bills. Uh, that's, you know, money getting out of the country. So looking at the uh, you know, government strategies and all those to replace uh, imports, that is one of the areas which is, uh, I'm contributing in, so that to be able to service the market and we'll be able to you know, retain those money that is getting out of the country and also creating uh, employment uh, within our country. The key challenges that we face uh, with this type of operation is uh, usually on you know, power supply is the main area, which for me, I think about Four production lots I have lost, made a big excessive loss because I was not able to blast my chicken uh, and you know preserve the quality so I could extend the shelf life. So I have to uh, distribute them down to the lay hospital and uh, also looking at uh, infrastructure. Like I'm doing frozen chicken, so mostly I'll be looking at having a proper cold storage facilities in place. Uh, to store the product. So currently like I'm having like six tons of storage capacity which is very limited. So just in January I brought in a 20 ton uh, capacity so I'll be able to at least stock up like two containers uh, in a month. So there's a lot of challenges that we face. Uh, others is to do with uh, also like on the marketing side that is one area and uh, product like you're looking at uh, Packaging and labeling and all those. These are some of the areas that uh, we need to invest in to uh, improve our product. So I have done a lot of investment in that area as well uh, to improve the packaging. So like what what type of uh, packaging that I'm using now is uh, insulated cartons. Basically, I came up with the design. It's like Zanag and table beds are not using that uh, design. I'm using that basically to, to supply our. Uh, you know, uh, clients outside of Morobe, like, you know, they're coming down from Makam or they're coming down from uh, Wau or Bulolo, they can be able to carry that carton of uh, chicken and it takes at least four hours. After four hours, then towing can start. So, so that is a new design that I came up with uh, on the cartoning. So I'm able to also freight uh, the cartons across. One of my customers is in a, a New Britain palm oil in Kimbe, so with the type of packaging, I'm able to also air freight that cargo stride across to uh, New Britain. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Just uh, tell me a bit about your background and uh, mm. how did you get into this yeah. uh, chicken uh, processing business? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm a food technology by profession. 
and uh, I've been doing a lot of work with fish and all that around the region in the Pacific South Pacific region on food safety management systems and uh, looking at production and uh, looking at market access requirements, especially on the regulatory side compliance. And that's where I have a strong background uh, to do with the uh, you know, food business. And I started off, uh, first we started selling like live chicken in Lay. We grow live chicken. We I load them on the back of the truck, going around the Lay city, started selling live chicken. And then after that, I get involved with uh, New Guinea Table Bed as an outgrower farmer. And I have a shed that produce up to 6,000 beds. So they provide a technical support, feed, and uh, they all chicken. I grow them up to six weeks and they take all, uh, everything for production. And from there, I started learning all the farming techniques as well, which helps me to you know, build my capacity in that area. And when it comes to processing, you know, being a food technologist, uh, processing, it's, uh, it's all good for me. So I'm able to maintain those quality and safety of the product. So uh, what's the future of the, your company now? Yeah. yeah, the future we are looking, yeah, it's bright uh, because currently, as I've already mentioned, we have about 200 million kina worth of import bill of uh, uncooked chicken. So the market is quite huge. Uh, we are yet to tap into that market. So now that I you know, increase my production capacity with additional infrastructure in place, uh, I will be able to looking at servicing the, the country uh, throughout. Uh, my message would be, you know, perseverance is the key. There'll be a lot of challenges that we face along the way, but don't give up. You know, we have to continue to strive ahead. Uh, looking at the current assistance that the government is now providing to support the SME in the agri sector, which is uh, very good. So we need to, you know, fall in line with whatever the government plans are. Huh? then you'll be able to get some assistance in that area to support the growth of your business. So it's about time that we get out and see what's happening around the country, like this expo here on a credit currency. You know, that's one system that government has set up also to help us, you know, small SMEs like us, you know, growing and struggling to survive. So I encourage other SMEs to also, you know, step out of your comfort zone and uh, work alongside with the government as well to see how best you can support the government policies uh, to you know, improve our economy, especially like you know, replacing imports. There's a lot of imports coming into the country. How can we diversify uh, in terms of downstream processing to start replacing all those uh, imports to help sustain the economic viability of our country? Uh, the government puts a lot of emphasis on the on agriculture downstream processing in the national agriculture sector plan, which was launched last week. So, what's your yeah, yeah. That plan is uh, it's very important. You know, government have a bigger vision for this country. All we have to do, uh, you know, on farmers level and uh, also on SME level, is how we can strategize and have system in place to work alongside with uh, those government plans. So it's good that uh, Maraperoso government has been putting in a lot of money into the agricultural sector now, which we have seen uh, a lot, and also we have donor funding agencies that are also coming into play to help and support uh, the agriculture sector. So which is, uh, is very important for this country because the government has already set the pathway for us and it's us the citizen now and the SME operators to get into that part and uh, help grow the economy. Uh, just a bit about yourself. Huh? Mm. Uh, where, where are you from and uh, yeah. where you went to school? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm from Sipik. I went to school in Sipik? Uh, Kubalea, Sipik province, that's uh, Yanguru Sause district. And I went to school at uh, Unitech. I was doing food technology. Oh, so you yeah. did, uh, Joel Waramboy? Yes, yes, Joel Waramboy. Dr. Waramboy is, uh, is my senior. He was a year ahead of me. Oh, okay. So we are like good mates in the school and okay, even so now with... Is, uh, both of you yes. in food technology and right. both of you are... Yes, into the SME sector. So it's like we share ideas together, we talk to each other and help support each other with whatever little things that we are doing to support this country and also create uh, the employment for the people. Yeah. Mm. How old are you? Oh, actually, I'm turning 51 uh, just yesterday. <laughs> well, happy birthday. Yeah, Anything thank you. Else you want to say? 
Uh, so far, I think it's a challenging environment that uh, we are operating in this country in PNG. It's a lot of issues that are also affecting uh, the cost of operation in the country as well. Uh, like for me, you know, working in the chicken industry, uh, one of the major costs that I'm facing is on, on feed supply. So a couple of workshops and conferences I've been attending, I was looking at you know, how best uh, the government can support in terms of uh, those ingredients we use for feed production. If that can be, you know, like subsidized or something so we can help bring down the cost of the feed. And from there, the cost of the meat production will also come down. So you're looking at like piggery feed, uh, chicken feed and all those. Yeah, like for me, it's like the cost of feed is like 46%. Uh, that is the cost along for feed. So if that can be reduced down, the cost of the meat production in the country will also be reduced.